Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. You remember Toby? The movie Roots? Yeah, yeah. Remember they was beating Toby? Yeah. Remember they beat him? And he said, what's your name? He said, my name is Kunta. And they were beating him until he said his name was Toby. Yeah. Guess what? That really happened. That's right. They beat us until we changed our name from Israel to Davis. Man. What's it? William. Jackson. Jackson. Smith. Conley. Smith. Make it Rosenberg. Jones. Get up. That's what they did. Hey, bro, check it out. So now I just showed Marco, right? Yeah. I just showed Marco. What's your nationality, Marco? He an Israelite. He gave his name. All praises be to the Most High God. I'm going to ask you, what's your nationality? Uh, that you know. You fill out an application. What you going to put down is your race when they ask you? Black American. Black American. Do you believe you're a black American? Yes, I do. Why? Because that's what you was taught. Right, exactly. Correct? According to the Bible, you believe in the Bible? Not really. Why? That's a, hey, we're going to get to it. You, know? uh, you really ain't? I mean, I ain't saying I'm going to believe all of them. Some of them are true, some of them are not. What do you think that's true in the Bible? And what do you think that's false? Uh, I think what's going on in the real world is basically true, but the afterlife and all that. Oh, to live forever and all that? Yeah, no. That's documented in the Bible. So now, give me the Deuteronomy 20, we're going to go, I'll stay right here. Brothers got to know who they are according to the Bible. Bring it up. Now, according to the Bible, you're not black. You ain't know that, did you? Right. You heard about Moses, right? Yeah. Moses. He went into Egypt to tell Pharaoh, let my people go, right? To free the Israelites. The Israelites were slaves in Egypt. And God sent Moses to free his people. God's people is the Israelites. That's right. Not everybody. Did you know that? Right. No, if you didn't know, it's cool. No, I mean, yeah. I mean, you knew, but did you know it? No. It's okay well, it's not to know, cause we, cause I didn't. It's a lot of things I didn't know. I had to humble down and say, okay, these right. brothers read this That's stuff real straight real out real the real Bible. Real Before real you read that, give me Exodus three and ten. Because what I'm gonna show you, you might think that God hate us for these atrocities. Would you believe that God allowed this to happen to us? That He actually did this to us by the hands of the white man? Would you believe that? Slavery. Would you believe it? Okay, good. That's good. That's good. Cool. How you doing, sis? I'm going to ask you the same question. Come here. Would you believe in your mind that God allowed this to happen to us? Slavery. Change. Don't survive on our necks. Would you believe God allowed this to happen to us? Putting those pack on uh, slave ships, dying, getting thrown overboard, some of us jumping overboard, getting beat with whips. Would you think that God allowed it to happen to us? What do you think? You think God allowed that to happen to us or no? No, it's like, um, I don't, I don't know, it's like mixed feelings with, with the Bible and like, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think, um, you don't think God allowed that to happen to us? No. You got mixed feelings with the Bible? Yeah. Why? Why? What's your mixed feelings with God with the Bible? Who do you think wrote the Bible? What color people? Because, like, the white people brought the Bible to the Africans, and you know what I'm saying? That, it's like they made them sick and then healed them. And they did that on purpose. They purposely made the Africans sick and then came back making them better. Talk about. But what did they do with the Bible then that they brought to Africa? Um. What race of people you think wrote the Bible? What color people you think wrote the Bible? I'm gonna start with them. You think they black or white? No, they wasn't. They wasn't African. The they wasn't black. They was white people that wrote the Bible. That's what you believe. That's what you believe. It's fine. Good. Now we are gonna go through some scriptures to show you white people did not write this book. That's right. That's this right. is not their book. Right. right. This book is the book of the Israelites. That's, That's right. right. Watch this. Give me, give me one of them scriptures real quick for the sisters. Oh, I want to read that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did how you hold it. Now, uh, what was your name again? Brian. Brian. Let's see who God's people is. The book of Exodus, chapter 3, and verse 10. Bring it out. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh. This was Moses. 
God told Moses, come now therefore, and I will send you unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people. That thou mayest bring forth my people. Now, that's a separation between everybody. Because Moses is going to who? The Egyptians. He said that thou mayest bring forth my people. That thou mayest bring forth my people. The children of Israel. So is everybody God's people? Everybody can't be God's people because right. God just stated that you may go unto Pharaoh, which was an Egyptian, to bring my people out of slavery in Egypt. Right. God's people is the nation of Israel. That's right. right. You understand? Give me one black scripture real quick. Now you heard of Solomon? Right. That's King what I said. Like I, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, it's two different... I've been brought up two different ways. You know what happened? You know what happened? Like, I know, you, like, you've been taught lies, people. sis. They not, they not really white. Chinese was black first. Who? You know what I'm saying? Chinese, black. They had black Af they African in them. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, they got pigmentation in yes, them. Yes, that's what but, I said. Like, but I, my I'm thing with you is, on this. I studied this. I hold on, sis. You know I want to deal with the first thing you said, because you think that white people wrote the Bible. I'm asking you a question. You heard of Solomon, King Solomon. Yes. He was King David's son. Let's see what color Solomon was. He wrote four books in the Bible. Watch this. I got you two. The book of the Song of Solomon. Chapter 1, verse 5. Yo. I am black. What did Solomon say? I am black, mm -hmm. but calmly. So Solomon wrote four books in the Bible. He said, I'm black and I'm beautiful. Right. As I said. So, it's, hold on, sis. So listen. I'm, I'm just be patient. Yeah. So listen. I listen. I got something right here. Oh, okay. So now, if the white man wrote the Bible, would he keep that in there? Solomon wrote four books in the Bible. Solomon was a black man from the tribe of Judah. That's right. His father was King David. He did, white people did not write this book just to put you there. Now, give me Deuteronomy 28. I'm going to show you, you're not African American. 28 and 1, like we did last time. 21, 21, yeah, I'm sorry. Now, we gonna, I'm going I'm to put somebody, I want you to keep this on your mind. I'm going to show you who Moses is speaking to. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. Bring it out. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? Unto all Israel. So now, who was Moses speaking to? Israel. He was speaking to the Israelites. Now, let's see what Moses, God told Moses to tell the Israelites that's going to happen to him in the future. We're going right. to go through this quick. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass. Meaning, in the future. It shall happen in the future. That's what that means. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God told Moses to tell the Israelites if they break the commandments, bad things gonna happen to them in the future. Right? These are the bad things that happen to the Israelites, believe it or not. I'm gonna show it to you. How did we get here? We got here on boats, right? right? On ships. Watch this. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. How do we get here? But well, who did Moses say that that would happen to in the future? Us. No, who did he say? What was their name? Israel. Israel. So guess what? What race of people you know went into slavery on ships? Teach. Black and African Americans. Blacks and African Americans. So now, remember, Moses told the Israelites that they were going to slavery in the future on ships. So if that happens to blacks and African Americans, who must we be? Yeah. Right. We the Israelites, That's right? right. That's right. That's what I, it's, it's plain as day, bro. Yeah. It's not hard to understand. It's not hard. Read on. By the way whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there, and once we get out the ships, Ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. Meaning no man is going to redeem us. Did, we, did they not sell us when we got off the ships? Yeah. We were sold. And Moses told the Israelites, this will happen to y'all in the future. But why do you think you have to get American? Give me, uh, give me verse 37. Matter of fact, give me Isaiah 65 and 15. We're going to come right back. There's another curse that happened to us when they brought us here. You remember Toby? The movie Roots? Yeah, yeah. Remember they was beating Toby? Yeah. Remember they beat him? And he said, what's your name? 
He said, my name is Kunta, and they were beating him until he said his name was Toby. Yeah. Guess what? That really happened. That's right. They beat us until we changed our name from Israel to Davis. Man. What's it? William Jackson. Jackson. Smith. Conley Smith. Make it Rosenberg. Jones. You know? That's what they did. I got you. They gave us their last name. Now watch this. Let me read this real quick. The book of Isaiah. Chapter 65 and verse 15. Yeah. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. And we shall leave our name Israel for a curse. What's your last name, your man? Booker. That's a curse. Yeah. You're the Israelites according to the Bible. Yeah, yes. right. Israel means Prince has now power with God. What the hell Booker right. mean? Right. No, no offense. Wow, no, no, no. But Israel means Prince has now power with God. Right. That's your real name. So God said you're going to leave that name for a curse. What's your name, sis? Your last name? What? Brown. Brown. Would you believe it? Believe it or not, sis? To walk around with the name Brown is a curse. Right. Let's read it again. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. What's your name, sis? Israel. Not Brown. Right. Brown was given to us in slavery. Right. They beat our ancestors and forced us to take on their last name. Right. And now it was passed down through generation through generation. But God said that we would leave our name for a curse because we broke his commandments. Read. Unto my chosen. We're the chosen people of God. That's right. God chose us to be his people. He didn't choose all races. Would you believe that, sis? Would you believe that God chose the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans and nobody else? Right. Would you believe that? You believe it. But then you grow up thinking that God loves everybody when you right. read John 316? So do God love everybody or do he love the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Which one is going to be? Yeah. That's because blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians is not all people. Because the Chinese people not included, the East Indian people not included, That's right. the white man, the Arabs, they're not included in all people. Right. Or it's not included in God loves everybody. Believe it or not, he do not love everybody. Yeah. Now, what's your question? Do you believe black people slave their own people too back then? No black people did not enslave their own people. Who enslaved us? The Africans. Now remember, give me before we read that, give me Exodus 11 to 7. Now remember, when you go back and you look at the uh they got it in the in the in the, in the uh in the pyramids in East, you can Google it. You can Google what color were the Egyptians and what color were the Israelites in Egypt. It's going to show you black people because Africans and Israelites are the same color. We both dark-skinned people. So a lot of people said the white man put that out there. Let's just make it plain. The people that sold us, the so-called African Americans into slavery, was our own people. But not, they was Africans. You understand? I'm going to read it to you. Watch this. The book of Exodus. Chapter 11 and verse 7. Hey, yeah. sis. Hey. Hey, sis. Come here. Before you leave, I want to show you something. Come here right quick. Hold on. I'm going to show you this right quick. Let me, let me read it. Come here, sis. Hold on. Listen to this, bro. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast. So nobody is to speak against the Israelites. Read on. That ye may know, that ye may know that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Why did God have to say that he put a difference between Israel and the Egyptians? Because the Israelites and the Egyptians look alike. They dark skinned. The people that sold us into slavery was Africans. We're not Africans. Right, that's right. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. I just, that, right? I just showed you that, right? And remember, the Lord sent Moses into Egypt. Egypt is in what? Africa. He said Moses, Moses was the Israelite. He said, go get my people Israel out of Egypt. That's how you know the Lord ain't dealing with the Egyptians, but we're the same color. You understand? So when people sit back and look at it, they say, well, black people sold black people. No, Africans sold the Israelites. In the right. That's right. We're not Africans. The right. white man told us we was Africans. Right. That's why the Bible says you're going to leave your name for a curse unto my chosen people. Right. Now you think you're African American. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.
salvation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. His word, his word.